We're here in Hastings this afternoon to support uh, my friend and neighbour, Amber Rudd, who's standing for re-election. And uh, Amber, how's it been going here for you? Well, I'm really grateful that you came over today with a big gang, bringing the sun, and it's been a fantastic day. I mean, we're very well supported every day, but it's really supportive to have fellow members of parliament, or sorry, candidates, <laughs> coming from different constituencies to show support and bringing such a big gang. So thank you very much. I think we've made you work quite hard. Some of your uh, colleagues have been surprised by how hilly Hastings is. <laughs> that is, of course, part of its charm. But I'm glad that you too, Damien, came yeah. ready for the running, because as you can see, exactly. we're both in our trainers today <laughs> to make sure that we can get round as many as many constituents as possible so thanks very much excellent well, good luck with the rest of the campaign thank you i'm at um Folkestone west station or as chris shaw would uh, rightly remind me a hundred years ago this was shawncliffe station and we've been here to mark the centenary of the start of the arrival of the canadian troops who were based at shawncliffe during the first world war who arrived here from shawncliffe station and from this point a hundred years on there would have been tens of thousands of Canadians that would have come to Folkestone to be stationed at Shawncliffe before going to the Western Front. But that's only really part of Shawncliffe's story and Chris runs the Shawncliffe Trust which is also very focused on the Napoleonic heritage of Shawncliffe and in particular uh, the Waterloo uh, Bicentenary which is coming out later this year. Chris, perhaps you tell us a little bit about your work at the Trust. As chairman, our main thing is to support the Folkestone's heritage and obviously Shawncliffe played such a big role. As you rightly said, 200 years ago, the famous 95th rifles, the green jackets are made famous and sharp, left our uh, left Sean to Redoubt and travelled through folks and went to fight the uh, at, outside Ougamont and the battlefield of Waterloo. Absolutely distinguished himself. Our membership sector, his forefather was actually a 95th rifleman who came from Shawncliffe. He was followed out by his wife who was a nurse in Wellington's army and when he was shot in the arm she pulled him from the battlefield and saved his life. So we have a direct connection with not only that battle, but also with Folkestone's heritage, which, as a supporter of it, is so important to keep the story alive. Yeah. And this is what is important with the Heart uh, Foundation, and with working with Stepshaw and working with ourselves. It's so important. Such a great asset to the community and to the town in the whole. Great. Well, thank, I mean, thanks for organising this event this morning as well. Thank it's you great for to be your with support. You. Thank you great. very much thank again. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching my film. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking here. Follow me on Twitter or visit my website.